and all, today is National Science Day. We are here to enlighten you with the importance of the day. National Science Day is celebrated on 28 February each year to mark the discovery of the Raman effect by Indian physicist Sir C. V. Raman in 1928. For his discovery, Sir C. V. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. Raman scattering, or the Raman effect, is the inelastic scattering of photons by matter, meaning that there is both an exchange of energy and a change in the light's direction. The event is now celebrated all over India in schools, colleges, universities, and other academic, scientific, technical, and research institutions. National Science Day is celebrated to spread a message about the importance of science used in our daily lives, to display the, all the activities, efforts, achievements in the field of science for human welfare, to give an opportunity to the scientific-minded citizens of India, to encourage the people as well as popularize science and technology. The theme for National Science Day this year is global well-being. We the students, to celebrate science as a part of our life, we want to enlighten all of us together with our basic projects. To begin with, we are a team of three. My name is Gayatri, here with my teammates Maria and Manyashish. We have built an electrical elevator which is commonly called a lift. An elevator is the most common infrastructure we all are familiar with and use in our daily life. The present day skyscrapers have this great tool to make things easier for our movement within less time. Let me show you how it works. Let us tell you the science behind this working elevator. A motor at the top of the shaft turns a sheet, essentially a pulley, that raises the lower that raises the lower cables attached to the cab and a counterweight. Gears connect the motors and sheet in the slower systems. Faster elevators are gearless, the sheep is coupled directly. Signals are sent from a button pressed to a controller located in the engine room, generally in the roof, that is responsible for coordinating the, all the elevators within the building. When a button is pressed within the car, the controller directs that specific elevator to go to that specifically selected floor. Thank you everyone. Good morning everyone. This is Niti. I'm Smayana. And I'm Tejasvi. I'm Pia and we are the students. So, I'm sure that everyone loves balloons. Don't you all? Yeah. yeah. So today we are here with a few balloon tricks. So, in this balloon we have baking soda. And in this bottle, we have a mystery liquid. After doing the experiment, you have to guess what liquid is in there. Yes, the answer is vinegar. Do you know why this happens? So when we mix baking soda and vinegar, we have a chemical reaction. And this chemical reaction forms carbon dioxide. When, as we cover the bottle with the opening with a balloon, the carbon dioxide enters the balloon. Now we will take this balloon uh, and do another experiment. We have two chairs, a string and a straw. For this experiment, we took a straw and inserted a string through it. And we tied the strings to the chair. Now I am going to attach this balloon to the straw using tape. Now I am going, to, Niti is going to attach this balloon to the straw using tape. Can you count down with me? One, two, three. Oh, did you? When the balloon is attached to the straw, and when we release it, the carbon dioxide which is in the balloon escapes out and pushes the air outside. Hence, results in moving forward. Now we have another experiment. For the third 
experiment. We have few flowers. In this flower, we cut up the stem, and we, now we are going to pour it in the put it in the cup and pour some water in it. So now, after pouring the water, do you know there's a tubule called xylem in it? So now, we're going to put some food coloring in it and ch check how it works. After a few hours, it turns into this. Isn't this amazing? You know why this happens? Because of the xylem present in it, carries the water. As we dive the water here, it turns into it turns into yellow. So this is our experiment for today. Thank you. And my name is Lohita. Today we are going to present you an experiment which is just like magic. So in the first class we have Sprite. In the second class we have Soda. In the third class, we have vinegar. And in the fourth, fourth one, In the fourth class, we have sh uh, sugar solution. And in the last class, we have only water. So as you can see, all these liquids are transparent. Now we have red cabbage solution, which we will be mixing it with all the liquids. Red cabbage and Sprite have the color pink. Red cabbage and soda have light purple. Red cabbage and vinegar have red. Yes, red cabbage and sugar solution have purple. Red cabbage and water have purple. So red cabbage is a pH indicator. It reacted with all these liquids and formed various colors that determined its acidity and basicity. This is the magic of pH indicator. Thank you. We've seen many experiments related to physics biology and a little bit of chemistry. We'll now continue with our next experiment and I'm Ramya. I'm Amina. And we also have a little friend to... Hello. Hello everyone. My name is Mira. Today, I'm also gonna learn the magic experiment with all of you. I love like my 
The materials that we require are water, potassium permanganate solution, two glasses, and a secret solution. We'll first take two plastic glasses and fill them both with water and name them solution A and solution B. This is solution A and this is solution B. Now, we're going to add two to three drops of potassium permanganate solution. This is the solution of potassium permanganate. It includes potassium permanganate mixed with water. We're going to put them into the glasses and then mix them. You observe that the solution A has changed its color, but the solution B hasn't. Now we'll add more drops of potassium permanganate into it. After adding more potassium permanganate solution, solution A gets darker. But as you can see, there is no change in the color of solution B. B color change? Good question. So why doesn't the solution B color change? It's because of a secret solution we added before in the solution B. It's called hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide due to the uh, acidic conditions between potassium permanganate and hydrogen peroxide the dark purple color disappears and the solution changes into colorless or pale pink solution or pale pink solution stop why are you touching the potassium permanganate without in bare hands i'm just doing it i want to see how it Feels. That's what. You're never supposed to touch chemicals with the, in bare hands because they might be highly reactive and especially potassium permanganate, it's really hard to be removed from your hands. There are few precautions when you do a chemical experiment. You should always have your gloves and your mask on because the chemicals may be highly reactive and can be dangerous to you. Always, this is the most important precaution. Whenever you do an experiment with chemicals, always have someone, always have an adult with you who can consult you and who, who can handle all the chemicals. Thank you.